Let's get into our first segment here. What's hot and fraud? This is where we warn our listeners about popping scams and the zeitgeist. Or more often than not, we get a letter from you guys out there. As always, snitch on your friends and family at scamgoddesspod at gmail.com. Just make sure your scam is retired because we don't want to what? Yes. Fuck up your bag. Amen. <laughs> Miranda and Nathan, I need a fake name for this person. We don't care about gender. Could be anything. Mary Ellen. <laughs> How classy. <laughs> Ooh. I love that because it's so old and timey that it's going to fit perfectly into this episode. <laughs> Mary Ellen. Oh, Mary Ellen. When you have a baby named Mary, can you call him Mary? Like, I, when they have a baby? it's an adult name. Well, name all baby names become adult names. I know, but certain yeah, names, but it's certain they're names not that baby are very names. childish. Like, they're just meant to be for an adult. Yeah, yeah. I get what you Like, yeah. if your name is Kiki, when you become an adult, you're going to have to try to find something more adult than that. Like, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, no, your name is Kiki on the birth certificate. No, 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 no. I'm 25 now. It's Catherine. <laughs> we just we're changing the name. We can't be Kiki anymore. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like a lot of family members of mine have Lil in front of their names still. Like we call them like oh, and the Lil Daryl, and they're, they're grown like adults. And we're like, tall. yeah, that's Lil Daryl. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what name would have you picked, Nathan? Maybe yours would be better. Well, see, I was gonna go. Ev- I was gonna go Brunhilda. Brunhilda. So, which is like oh. far, far. That gives me like Django Unchained, but it's like a German name. Brun Brunhilda. <laughs> You can decide, Lacey, which <laughs> which name is the winner. Mary Ellen or Broomhilda. Um, they're Love both pretty great. Good. Maybe I give them four names. So Mary Ellen Broomhilda says, <laughs> says oh, I think you're 10 out of 10 and the most delightful. The scam I have to share is one that I caught off one of my first graders doing. I'm a teacher. Shout out to the teachers. Mm. Really, Shout out to y'all, man. Like, whoo. I don't know how y'all do it. Nope. I, I'm not dealing with nobody's unemployed spawn all day. <laughs> and then they mouthy. They got attitude and uh. lip. And it's like, you don't pay no bills. <laughs> how dare you? I literally had to tell my four-year-old that the other day. <laughs> He's like, start you, him young. Yep. You can slam the door when it's your house. <laughs> you ain't paying no door bills in That's here. That's right. You ain't got no WD-40 money. You're not going to send the repairman out for that crack in that door that you made. Exactly. That's right. Oh, Those I, four-year-olds need to know. They do. I love that that's your version of, like, what black people call McDonald's money. Like, when we were kids, like, we'd always want to go to McDonald's. And I don't know why this is a universal black experience. But we were like, let's go to McDonald's. And then they, our parents would be like, you got McDonald's money? And then like, of course I don't. I'm unemployed. But I love it being like, you got you got door slamming money? I don't think you do. So. That's a solid core door, child. Right. These doors are expensive. What you doing? <laughs> I love that so much. So um, Mary Ellen Brumhilda says, in my class, st- my students earn tickets in various ways. So you got to fucking compensate these children. Like, well, well I got to pay you <laughs> <laughs> for a free education. Like for bad behavior or like for No, good? like for good. Oh, yeah. okay. Brandy, why do you think it's, that's a ticket? Like you think you're buying a ticket? Like the police? When I was little, I had to pull my card. Did you ever do that? Yes. And it's like yep. getting a ticket, mm-hmm. kind of. I mean, you have to pull the card, and then eventually it gets to red. Yeah. And then you're done. Oh, you're you might cooked. as well just that goose is give up. Cooked. It's oh over. You know what? They didn't factor in like children who were like meant to be entertainers or people who were not like like okay, we had something at our elementary school called self managers, and self managers got these gold badges that they could wear around and they would have like little pizza parties like every quarter and oh. I always wanted to be a self manager but you had to have good grades and you couldn't get your card pulled a lot so I would have good grades but I'd be getting my card pulled all the time because mm. I'd be talking cash shit in class <laughs> <laughs> and for some reason at this school and we all wore uniforms there were a lot of Russian kids and all the Russian kids were self managers <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Odd. A government coup? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but they were all self-managers, and I was always so envy of this. I'd be like, man, Anya, got she is self-managed. <laughs> How did you become one? How did you, like, what did you have to do to get it? Be quiet and get good grades. Oh. And I could get good grades, but I couldn't be, be quiet. quiet. <laughs> I feel like a self-manager would need to have confidence and be loud. Yeah. <laughs> right. I manage it myself. <laughs> right, <laughs> exactly. Showing leadership qualities. Managing uh, others. Exactly. You know? Mary Ellen Broomhilda is giving out these tickets. Positive reinforcement, Miranda. Not uh, negative. <laughs> <laughs> they write their names on them, and at the end of the day, we do a drawing with those tickets. 
We always choose two names, and those two students get to choose a prize from my prize box. Mm. I, man, I miss being a kid because we used to be delighted by the most basic ass shit, like a fucking racer that smelled good. Yep. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, ooh. A pencil. But it's got cinnamon on it. When are we going to get our mesothelioma commercial, which I think is going to be like if you were a loved one and smelled <laughs> a magic sniff marker, you may be entitled to damages. I know some, that was doing something to us. For sure. And I was sniffing them all. I love the grape <laughs> one. Oh, the best. Why do you need to sniff a pen or a marker? Like, that's insane. D- you can't sniff any of the other markers. So right. why, why are there only True. certain markers you can sniff? Honestly, a gateway drug. Because then, you know, I started sniffing um, the real permanent stuff. markers. Mm-hmm. So you get a little out. <laughs> yeah, then you get the white out. You know, it's a, it's a slippery slope. <laughs> Just the paint huffing. That's, that's the gateway <laughs> of paint huffing. Is you got magic markers for children. So they get something from the prize box. Last week. I noticed one student had been winning an uncanny amount of times. Like, homie was getting a prize eight out of nine days in a row. Mm. And I should have caught it earlier, but I've been having health issues, and it's the end of the year, and you know how it goes. I know absolutely how it goes. And also, you a teacher. You got to be out here being a, you got to be a teacher. You got to be, like, martial law. You got to, it's just, it's an insane position that this country has put our educators in. And they don't pay them well enough. I'm like, I'm glad y'all not in here shaking the kids and Mm -hmm. (laughs) pinching them under their arm. (laughs) I be pinching all the kids. (laughs) A little tiny little (laughs) <laughs> do it right with no way I can see it. <laughs> um, but like, so shout out to you. So anyway, she's like, I didn't notice that this was happening. Anyways, I investigated a little bit and noticed that on the tickets that had his student that had this student's name, you could faintly see an erased name underneath it. Mm. I asked the student about it, and they were like, Every day when you put my ticket in the jar, I would take a few tickets out and erase whoever's name was on it, and then write my own. <laughs> He just gave himself up. It's like he was so proud. Like, you know in movies when the villain just starts talking for a long time about what they did? <laughs> and you're wondering, like, why is the villain talking for 15 right, minutes? These are details we didn't ask for. These are crimes we didn't. You're like, yeah, <laughs> 10 years ago I robbed another bank. It's like nobody asked about that. You don't have to. Just proud. He was like, yeah, I took a, I took a few out. But think about it. If he only took a few out and left some, his odds are still pretty good. Mm-hmm. This teacher must have not been shaking up the ticket bowl. He was just sprinkling them on top. He was was like, the teacher impressed? <laughs> what did the teacher do? He says, honestly, for a first grader, this is the equivalent of Ocean's Eleven Heist because they are just very bad liars and never sneaky. So props to this kid. But I did have to remove all the tickets that had their name on it in the jar so they couldn't keep winning prizes. <laughs> 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 So oh, basically, man. what he was doing was stacking the deck because, like, they right. get these tickets for being good, and then the tickets accumulate. So, so he was doing something evil, but he was getting the tickets for being good because yes. she thought he was being good. And then he was also writing his name the on all them. Con. Little by little, every day he was stacking the deck because he's adding more tickets every single time because he's erasing people's names. So think of like a big <laughs> jar, and then every time you get good tickets, right? She reaches into the same jar, and yep. you have better chances of winning if you're better behaved. I'm just trying to figure That's out when, genius, when is he getting them back into the jar? Because he's got to take them out. He's got to take them away. He's got to go erase them, put his name back on it. These kids Where's are Where's he quick. finding that time? There was a viral tweet about a teacher that she was like, I took a phone away from a child in my class, and then I turned around, and she had the phone again, and she was on it. And she was like, how did you get this phone? And she was like, oh, you and my mama love a little drawer. And then we like, went back to her phone. <laughs> It's like, y'all, y'all love a little drawer chat. I just went into the drawer and got it back. <laughs> oh just gosh. opened the drawer up. I love that, though. I love when kids are criminals. I love it. Because you can tell early on if a kid's going to be a criminal. A few mm. ways you can tell if they open up a lemonade stand. I had a lemonade stand. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple times as a child. You're just a scam waiting to happen. <laughs> Taking time, I love a good lemonade stand. <laughs> Wait. That child model money isn't what people think it is. <laughs> Not you having to open your small business after your child modeling career. <laughs> this was out. So we got to pivot. Now I'm a child model who sells lemonade. Lemonade on the street corner. Now, what kind of lemonade were you slanging? My mom helped me make it. It was homemade lemonade, oh. which nowadays I feel like nobody would buy. Right. Because they'd be scared to get COVID. Man, the good old days when you could leave your doors unlocked and, and buy lim- unmarked lemonade on the street. <laughs> I remember how excited I was because um, my across-street neighbor, they were doing construction, and I knew all the construction workers were going to be there one day. Oh. 
<laughs> you are a scammer for real. You're like, ooh, and today is hot. 89 degrees? Oh, oh yeah, y'all going to be parched. Put up a little easy up right over there so they could stand in line in the shade and get their ice cold lemonade. Put out the catalog that I had the picture in from the child modeling uh, to draw them in. <laughs> Actually, that's creepy. Yeah, I don't thing. know. Never mind. I'm not totally sure about that part. It doesn't work. I was. It was. I, was I love that. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah, that yeah, you're yeah. just trying to add. You're like, just whatever we can do to advertise this <laughs> lemonade. I love it. I love it. I think you could put out a sign that's like struggling former child <laughs> model. <laughs> that would have been good. Please buy lemon sugar water. <laughs> Help a struggling child model. 